Okay, everybody, it's Mr. James here. Uh, we are on day five. Today is March 23rd. It's Monday. Um, one week from today, you'll be back in class, uh, though uh, it'll be digitally. You'll be doing it online, um, but you'll be back in class one week from today. Um, this is day five of our corn earworm experiment. Um, so we're going to run through the, um, the data collection real fast here. Um, when we get to the end, I will uh, show you some up close um, uh, footage of each of the different uh, or each of the different experimental groups um, and uh, pose a couple of questions there so be sure to watch all the way to the end Sorry, you're okay, so um, just wanted to kind of look at these. Um, so these are the ones that were in the low temperature. So a lot of condensation. Um, interestingly, a lot of them were kind of dark in color. So here's um, what the worm looks like. And there he is right down there. Kind of darker in color. Um, where did that one go? Yeah. Um, this one, you can see there he is, kind of darker in color. So yesterday we had a we had a sort of a prediction about color in the worms. Um, and if you recall, here you go, Ren. And if you recall, most of these, most of our prediction had to do with whether the worms were. Um, being fed uh, the original diet or not. Well, those are being fed the original diet. They are darker, um, so kind of, uh, kind of interesting. Uh, now, looking at our warm temperature ones, this is where all of our biggest worms are. Um, you can see this guy here, number one, is humongous. And you'll also notice the color. The color is a little uh, considerably different. That's re it's really light, almost like a pale pink um, for a lot of them. Let me see, that. number seven. Um, yeah, you can see there, number seven, same thing. These are a uh, real light color. So very, very different than all the others, even the ones that are um, like our control and stuff, you'll be able to see a difference in the color there. So those, uh, those comments have been made um, in the Google spreadsheet. Um, here's our warm ones, Ren. Get those, grab those and stick them in the incubator, please. Um, our sugar ones, as you can see here, up here on the top. Where are they? There they are. Um, sugar ones up on the top, like this number six is humongous. Um, again, remember they're eating just a sugar solution. We put a little piece of uh, cotton swab in there. Um, with, that is soaked in like a sugar water solution. Um, and some of those are massive. Number 13 over here, there he is cruising around. So really big. Um, but then uh, popcorn, most of those were small. Hay over here, most of those were small. Dog food, pretty small. Some of our food coloring ones are a decent size, but they, and there's one right there. Um, we haven't decided if the color because they appear sort of green. I showed you that in the video the other day, um, but we're not sure if that color is as a result of their, you know, just crawling around on the food coloring and they're, they're green on the outside or if that's like a uh, color all the way through. And then these are some of our controls here. So you can kind of see that color difference that I was talking about. Um, there's a good one, good control there. This guy crawling around up on the top here. Pretty good example of the different colors of our controls. So, um, and then the ones that are in the larger containers are still that sort of that same color as you're seeing in the um, control group. Um, some of the ones in the dark, here's our dark group, and they are um, not real, real dark in color or anything, but. Uh, Actually, there's one right there that looks almost, that appears almost pink, kind of like the, the warm temperature ones. So I want you to maybe make some predictions down in the comments if you feel like you have some ideas as to what's causing the color differences. Um, 
think back to your research that you did as well on the corn ear worms and see if uh, um, you can look back at your research in Google Doc or in Google Classroom and see if any of that um, kind of correlates with the, your research. Um, so. Okay, so we're all done. So if you, uh, if you heard what I said in the, in the last little bit, um, I want you to look at some of your research and see if any of that correlates to what we are seeing with our colors. Um, yesterday we talked about the fact that four of the, the experimental groups were much darker than the others. And we, I ask you to kind of consider, um, yes, they were all about, a couple of people commented, said uh, that it had to do with diet. Um, but I asked those folks to think more specifically about the kind of diet. So if you're still contemplating that, keep that in mind. Um, and then um, today, some of our results are not really jiving with what we had yesterday. Um, some of the questions or some of the colors of some of the different worms are um, varying considerably. So um, anyway, think about those things we'll, um, and make any comments that you have in the comments there. You can also comment in your Google Classrooms. Um, if you have me for class, if you're one of Ms. Maring's students, um, feel free to send her an email with comments or feel free to just put it in the comments here on the YouTube channel. Um, she has access to, to see those comments as well and I will make her a moderator so she can reply to her students' comments if she would like. So I um, hope everybody's having a good break and you're starting to get your brains uh, back into gear for um, online learning starting on Monday the 30th. We'll see you again on, let's see, this is Monday. It'll be Wednesday. We'll be back together um, and we'll, uh, we'll look at the worms again then.